The reasons why your Galaxy A05s mobile data isn't working could be due to a simple software setting, a network outage, or an issue with your SIM card. Let's walk through a few fixes to get you back online. The first thing you have to do is to make sure airplane mode is turned off because this disables all wireless connections. Swipe down from the top of the screen and look for the airplane icon. Tap it if it's highlighted. You may also enable it for a few seconds and then disable it back. This refreshes the connection of your phone to the network. Next, verify that mobile data is actually enabled. In the same quick settings menu, check if the mobile data icon is highlighted. If the issue isn't with the obvious settings, we might need to dig slightly deeper. Sometimes a simple restart is all it takes to clear up minor software glitches. Press and hold the power and volume down buttons until you see the power menu. Then tap restart and confirm you want to reboot your device. Before we get deeper, check if there's a network outage in your area. Contact your carrier or search their website for service updates. If there's no outage, you have to check the APN settings of your device. These are like addresses that tell your phone how to connect to your carrier's network. Go to Settings, Connections, Mobile Networks, and Access Point Names. Make sure the correct APNs are set. You may need to look these up on your carrier's website. Once you've confirmed the APN settings, let's move on to another potential culprit, a loose or faulty SIM card, as this can cause problems. So turn off your phone. Use the SIM ejector tool to remove the SIM card tray, carefully take out the SIM and reinsert it firmly. Turn your phone back on. If none of the above works, try resetting the mobile network settings. To do that, go to Settings, General Management, Reset, and select Reset Mobile Network Settings. Remember, this will clear your saved Wi-Fi passwords. Hopefully, one of these solutions helped get your Galaxy A05s mobile data back in action. If you're still having problems, it's best to contact your carrier for further help. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips.